Woman takes son's DNA test for fun. Husband files for divorce next day. Patricia and Gregory Holmes had been married for 18 years. They had three children, and their eldest was their 17-year-old son, Greg Jr. The Holmes family had no idea that their lives were about to be forever changed by something Patricia had purchased online just a few days prior. Their whole world came crashing down because of it. They were a close-knit family and were excited that Greg Jr. was about to graduate high school. Patricia was planning a big party with all his friends, and Gregory had secretly purchased Greg his first car. They were over the moon at his achievements and would also have to choose a college for him, but all their happiness would soon come tumbling down. It was one day that Patricia and Gregory were entertaining some of their close friends when the problems really started. They started talking about family trees and DNA, and that's when Patricia's best friend Colleen mentioned that her sister had just purchased a DNA kit online. As a dare, the Holmes were told to buy a kit and take the test. Thinking it was all in good fun and intrigued by the idea of discovering their ancestry, Patricia and Gregory decided to take the dare. Late that night, after their friends had left, they huddled together with excitement, ordering the DNA kit from a reputable website. Gregory looked excited most of all because he always wanted to know something about his heritage and hoped this test would reveal something. As the days passed, they grew more eager to receive their kit. They were going to test all their family members, including the kids. Patricia thought it would be fun to include them as well. Little did they know that this innocent decision would lead them into a labyrinth of secrets and shocking revelations that would shatter the foundation of their lives. At first, Patricia thought that it was completely silly to be taking the test. After all, everything she knew about herself and her family was no secret, but everything would be turned on its head once they eventually took it. They hadn't anticipated the results that would come from the DNA kit. It was something completely unexpected. Finally, the day arrived when the DNA kit was delivered to their doorstep. Patricia and Gregory wasted no time, eagerly swabbing the insides of their and their children's cheeks and sending the samples back to the testing factory. Weeks went by and the suspense built up. Patricia's mind wandered, contemplating the possibility of finding distant relatives or uncovering some interesting family history. Little did she know that the truth hidden in their DNA would bring chaos and heartbreak beyond imagination. The family could not have prepared themselves for what would transpire next. People would be getting hurt and all because they decided to purchase the kit. A simple test would leave everything the family had known in tatters, and someone had to answer for it. If only the Holmes didn't buy the DNA kit, then the whole mess would have been avoided. One evening, while the family was sitting together in the living room, Patricia received an email notification from the DNA testing company. Her heart raced as she opened the message, expecting exciting discoveries about her family's past. But as she read the results, her face turned pale and her eyes filled with tears. Gregory noticed her distress and asked anxiously, What's wrong, honey? Oh, nothing, just sad story on the news. Patricia quickly answered, but she couldn't ignore what she just read on her computer screen. What she read was surely a huge mistake. With that, she quickly sent a response email back to the company requesting they redo the test with the same samples. As the days went by, Gregory started getting anxious and asked about the DNA test results and why it hadn't arrived yet, but Patricia was ready for him. I forgot to tell you I received an email saying there would be a long wait because of the major backlog they have. Gregory felt a little let down. He was looking forward to receiving the results, only he knew. Every day became a struggle for Patricia she tried to conceal the fact that the DNA results had arrived already. It was a family computer and everybody used it. She became very worried about who might see the email. But then she decided the best way to hide the evidence was just to send it to her own private email away from other prying eyes. It was the only way until the other results arrived. Patricia grappled with the results she had seen. She couldn't believe what it said and it would surely drive a wedge between her family. She hadn't anticipated this and now she had a huge problem on her hands. But the only thing she could do now was wait on the follow-up results. Would they be any different? And with each passing day, she felt endless guilt that she was keeping such a big secret from not only her husband Gregory, but her entire family. Patricia was at a loss and she didn't know how long she could live with keeping the secret from her family anymore. It was then she heard a familiar beep from the computer. She quickly raced downstairs. It was what she'd been expecting, the DNA results. She closed her eyes and prayed the first test she'd received was just a huge mistake. When she clicked on the email and read the contents, her heart nearly stopped beating. There was on the screen the same results as before. What was supposed to be something exciting had turned into a complete nightmare for Patricia. How was she ever going to get past this and how was she going to break the news to them? One thing was for sure she could no longer keep it from them. It had been three weeks already and they'd start wondering about whether the results had come in. Unable to bear the burden any longer, Patricia gathered her family in the living room one evening. She took a deep breath, her hands trembling as she held a printed DNA test results in her grasp. Gregory looked at her concern etched across his face, sensing something was wrong. Honey, what's wrong? What's going on? With tears streaming down her cheeks, Patricia hesitated for a moment before finally confessing, the test results came back. The room filled with excitement and cheer, but the atmosphere quickly changed when Gregory saw Patricia crying uncontrollably. He quickly ushered her away from the kids. Hey, what's going on? You're acting strange. Patricia hugged Gregory and sat him down. 
There's something I've been keeping from you. Gregory grew concerned and wanted to know what was going on. But Patricia wasn't so sure that Gregory would want to still be married to her after he hears what she'd been keeping from him. Just tell me, whatever it is, we'll get through it together. Patricia took a deep breath and proceeded to tell the whole story. The test results claim that Greg's not your son. Gregory's eyes grew so wide they nearly popped out of his head. But that can't be true, there must have been a huge mix-up at the lab, you have to call them immediately. But as the tears continued to stream down Patricia's face, Gregory knew there was no mistake. I already asked them to redo the test again, that's why it took so long. Gregory stood up and paced up and down. How can this be? He is my son, there's no doubt about that, unless… Patricia looked up at her husband, she knew what he was thinking. The room fell silent as the unthinkable realization settled in. Patricia knew what Gregory was implying and she couldn't find the words to deny it. She'd been pregnant before she met Gregory and she hadn't known. She'd always believed Greg Jr. was Gregory's biological son, but the DNA test suggested otherwise. What were they going to do now? Gregory's mind was racing and his emotions were a chaotic mix of anger, hurt, and betrayal. Patricia reached out to hold his hand but he pulled away, needing some space to process the devastating news. I can't believe you kept this from me, Gregory finally said, his voice heavy with emotion. How could you not know you were pregnant before we got together? Tears streamed down Patricia's face and she confessed, I was young, it was a long time ago. I didn't think it mattered and I never knew the truth until now. <laughs> Gregory's heartache was palpable and he couldn't bear to look at Greg Jr. who was still unaware of the bombshell that had just been dropped on their family. Over the following days, the Holmes family was enveloped in turmoil. Gregory couldn't help but question the authenticity of their entire relationship. He felt betrayed and deceived not just by Patricia but also by life's cruel twist of fate. The love and trust that had once formed a strong foundation for their marriage had now seemed fragile and shattered. Gregory's mind was consumed by the fact that he wasn't Greg Jr.'s biological father. It haunted him day and night, leading to sleepless nights and strained interactions with his wife and children. Meanwhile, Patricia was grappling with guilt and remorse. She never wanted to hurt her family, but her past was now coming back to haunt her. She feared losing her husband and the family they'd built together. The children, especially Greg Jr., could sense the tension between their parents and felt an overwhelming sense of unease. Their once joyful home had turned into a battleground of emotions, leaving them confused and scared. Gregory knew the only way to find peace and move forward was to get to the bottom of the truth. He decided to arrange for a confidential paternity test for Greg Jr. conducted by a reputable lab. He wanted to confirm whether he was the biological father or not. Finally, the day arrived when the results of the confidential paternity test were ready. Gregory and Patricia sat down together, holding their breath as they opened the envelope. As they read the report, their faces were pale and their emotions reached new heights. The results confirmed once again that Gregory was not Greg Jr.'s biological father. The truth hit Gregory like a tidal wave and he couldn't hold back his tears. Patricia too was devastated by the confirmation of her past mistake. The revelation sent the family into a deep crisis. Gregory felt a whirlwind of emotions, struggling to come to terms with the fact that the son he'd loved and raised as his own wasn't biologically related to him. The impact on Greg Jr. was profound. He was hurt and confused, feeling like his whole identity was crumbling. Amidst the chaos and pain, the Holmes family faced a pivotal choice. To succumb to the shattered trust and let the family fall apart, or to find a way to heal and rebuild their bonds. Gregory and Patricia underwent counseling to address their emotions and communicate better. It was a difficult journey, but they recognized that they still loved each other deeply, and that their relationship was worth fighting for.